Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we'll be covering a collaboration done with the Adidas team and Song for the Mute on the Country OG Silhouette in the gray colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. <music> everyone to another unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in this is our first time actually covering the country og silhouette so i'm really excited to cover this uh, again this is a collaboration done with song for the mute also the first time we're covering that uh, brand as well so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how i style this really cool futuristic looking sneaker and then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it. So as far as the brand, which stands for Song for the Mute, as it says here, SFTM, that is actually an Australian design label. And this is their third collaboration with the Adidas team. I was really excited actually when I saw the photos that were released for the entire capsule collection. This also released in two other colorways. So a teal and a kind of brown and black toned sneaker. Wasn't sure which of the three I really wanted uh, but I had to pick one so I decided to go with this gray tone and I'm really excited that I did because in hand these look so cool. As far as the inspiration behind this definitely some 90s nostalgia which I definitely am loving that aesthetic so I was really excited to see the different materials that they decided to go with. As you can see there's some smooth textures of this nice dark charcoal gray leather and then we've got some nylon materials and more of a bluish gray tone with some hair textured suede as well and just a darker kind of deeper beige tone and as we work our way up we do have these really cool shoestring laces and it's this kind of paracord lace system which is really cool so you're getting these d eyelets as well in that metallic silver tone you also get an additional pair here which is in a charcoal gray and this one actually has um, a lace lock system where this one does not so if you want to swap the laces out you can do that as well i personally really like this aesthetic of the spaghetti shoestring lace in this red gray and white tone i feel like the pattern just gives it a little more kind of spontaneity gives it a little bit more of a flavorful taste and look and then we do have that deconstructed feel going on the tongue here as you can see the foam is exposed in this eggshell tone and then we've got the dual branding on the top here in black and adidas also is written in a different way as well which i kind of like that they switch that up from their just typical adidas logo and font so let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side panels box goes the box is really cute it's very simplified it's just brown and it does have song 
uh, for the, instead of Mew, it has Song for the, with the Adidas logo on top, which is kind of cute and different, but uh, very simplistic box, but I actually really like it. As far as the side paneling goes, we are getting some more of that deconstructed fill, a little bit of some embroidered stitching on one of the stripes here, and the stripes are in this nice cream finish. Then we've got more nylon in that light bluish gray with Adidas logo on the pull tab here. Then as we work our way to the back, we've got some nice charcoal gray hues and just some subtle branding on the side paneling as well for this kind of little tag here embroidered on the bottom, and it is the SF tm-003 and the three stands for the fact that it's the third collaboration they've done with the adidas team and then we do have different colored stripes on the lateral side in a different texture as well this time it's in kind of a fuzzy uh faux fur texture in navy and then the interior is in a gray and black hue then as we work our way down to the midsole we do have kind of a trifecta color scheme going on here with beige cream and gray and then the entirety of the outsole is in that gray finish all right let's take a look at those last and final details On the back of the tongue here, we do have song for the, with the Adidas logo there. So really cool that they've got some subtle branding on the inside of that tongue as well. As far as size and fit goes, I actually would recommend sizing half a size down. I am in a weird kind of size range when it comes to Adidas, but this was my first time actually ordering the Country OG silhouette, so I wasn't sure, so I went true to size. And I do feel like I have a little bit of extra space, but I always prefer having a little extra space than having less space because I can at least wear thicker socks with these. But um, if you do have higher narrow feet, I would highly recommend sizing half a size down. If you do a flatter wire feet, this is more of a narrow silhouette, so you may want to stick true to size. All right, so now let's jump into styling. Again, this is just a really cool 90s inspired sneaker, so I really wanted to have fun with it with my different looks. Uh, for the first look, I wore a button-down striped shirt that was in gray and white, and I wore some just nice, light, distressed gray cargo pants to really complement the gray hues that you see throughout. second look I decided to wear just a nice mini dress that had a really cool kind of 3D looking flower off of it and I feel like it just kind of made the sneakers pop. last and final look I went with a beige asymmetric top and some just nice simple dark gray olive toned pants that had some cargo pockets
All right, so as far as the retail goes for these, these retailed at $140 and they're currently going between $300 or $475. Those are the asks for these right now. All right, everyone, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you all on the next episode. Never see my eye,